All right, what we're gonna show today is a couple ways to check our variable speed motor. We're using the 3.0 uh, Regal Bloy motor. So first thing we wanna do is verify that the high voltage is on the motor. So to do that, we get uh, our pins and as long as we've got small enough leads, we can get in between here when it, when it is still plugged in just to verify the high voltage and we have 120 volts. Then what we wanna do is verify that we have our low voltage signal if the motor isn't running. And we can do that again through this plug and move our meter to DC. And we are getting some voltage here. So it is communicating, but our motor isn't running. So the, to verify that the motor is bad or good, on the 3.0 variable speed motor, we have a little trick that we can use. And in most of your, have a, a set of jumper wires or thermostat wires or anything, well, any place we can get a 24 volt signal. I've removed our plug from our low voltage. And what we wanna do is put one lead on location number four or the common, the other one on number three, or it's marked RX with a 24 volt signal on there. If it's a good motor, it should run. But there it goes. I don't know if you can see that. So our problem wasn't the motor. So this is just a quick, easy way to, uh, to avoid replacing parts that aren't bad. Okay, the next thing we're going to do to check out the motor is, is uh, verify that the motor is good. And how you do that with a variable speed is actually just ohm out the motor itself. So we can take the, the end bell off, put that out of the way, take your meter to ohms, and what we want to do, just like with any three-phase motor, we're going to ohm between all three legs. So be very cautious of putting the, the pins in here and just, just touching them. On all three. And what we're looking for is a consistency that all three legs are very close, if not the same ohm reading and all these were within a tenth of an ohm. So the motor is good.